What's up guys, it's your boy Metriptor, also known as Luke Satu Spatella, and welcome to another part of my Disney's Dinosaur Rockthrough series. Last time we went into a cave and we escaped from it, but there's still one more Conrotaurus left that we have to deal with. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Of course, 100%, 100% for the last mission, that was mission number 10. 555 experience points for completing this mission. Let's go ahead and do the next one. By taking a shortcut through this cliffside, you can alert the, uh, kind of the herd. Yeah, you can alert the herd on time, and Nero will be saved. And also, that was kind of scary how that Carnotaurus was just, um, you know, running towards you. I remember hey, from you that. that's a kind of unique dialogue there from Aladar. Hey, did you see that? <laughs> what have you know? Whatever. Um, I remember this from the DVD. Yeah, I once had the DVD of Dinosaurs. It was actually uh, one of the first times I actually watched DVD. Because I had my own... Uh, oh, I shouldn't have done that. When I had my own uh, TV in my room. Yeah, and I watched Dinosaurs. And I remember from one uh, interactive, like, say, mini game from the DVD. There was this, like, maze where we were also were in the cave. And, uh, yeah. If you were lost or you waited a certain amount of time this current towers would actually you know run towards the TV it was kind of scary so uh, yeah I actually have some uh, PTSD over here or something I don't know it's just that ah, anyways um, I kind of got hurt there yeah you know current towers could still hit you there so what's the point of this mission well first of all we're gonna get some fruit, we're gonna get some projectiles. Here we go. Another power stone. Excellent, and another life crystal. Uh, yeah, and also I have to apologize, but for like 90% the soundtrack will be the Carnotaurus screams and grunts. I, I, I don't know what it is, it's probably some sort of audio bug in the game, but I don't care too much. So, what's the deal? What do we have to do? Well, this one Carnotaurus, well, because it's in the game, it's probably gonna do something uh, in this level, and it will. But first, we have to scout a little bit with uh, Flea, because of course there are blood wings that need to be taken care of. Um, I kind of want to conserve them on my power stones. This was probably not a smart move to do, but uh, I can assure you, things will be fine. I hope. Yeah, I kind of want to consume. Uh, actually, not consume. I just kind of want to. Uh, make sure that my power stones are still in plenty of stock or inventory. Also, those little steam geyser thingies. Don't fly into them, you got damage. And I think it'll do, uh, yeah, it'll do about 80 damage or so. So, yeah, I kind of die if I do that. Of course, this is for Zinni or do whatever the hell. Lots of object, uh, objectives for Fulia there. I mean, the thing is, you can imagine, it's probably just knocking some stuff down. And you are right. We have to knock some stuff down. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, also green areas. That's for later. Uh, just make sure they stay there. Yeah, there should be two more. There's one over there. And then there is one over there. Excellent. Bats. Kill the bats. There's another blood wing here, so I have to be careful. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. It's kind of a narrow spot, so it's not really like the most ideal position to uh, fight against the Bloodwing. I hit it. I heard I heard the scream of the Bloodwing, so that's a good sign. Kind of want to use another one, because I don't really feel too comfortable in such narrow spaces. Uh, is this considered to be a secret? Well, no, there are in fact not really, you know, there aren't not actually secrets in this level well the game says there are no secrets because it doesn't really say like hey you found a secret place so i don't consider them as secrets either and it says here watch out the, the ground is very unstable unstable whatever you can't stand on it on certain parts so of course that's why we have flea so let's see this part this part that part three more to go yes Two more to go. Yeah, this one. Of course, how could I miss it? And there is one somewhere in the back that I've skipped over. If I can find it. Uh, what? 
Uh, yeah, should be this part. Here we go. 500 experience points for completing this very simple mission. Yet, it's very important. Okay, let's fly a bit more. There's just a life crystal just waiting there. Just, you know, we're waiting to be grabbed. Okay. Let's see. There's some more stuff in there. Yeah, I'm just kind of scouting if things are still okay. Oh, wait, you'll under Bloodwing! I kind of should have known this, but I didn't. So... That was kind of a surprise. Also, another situation in which I do want to use my power stones. For a reason that, uh, you know, there are there's steam geyser things. That's exactly the reason. Because I, if I chase the Bloodwing, and Bloodwings can go through one of those geyser things, then it's really like, oh, uh, well, you've been kind of stupid. So, yeah. Maybe I'd die here. Ah, that was kind of risky. Ah, I might just die with Flea. Actually... Why take the risk? Uh, because if I'm correct, there should be a plant right here. Yep. And I'm willing to uh, do this and take the plan. Probably think water waste. But no, there are, I think, two more plants uh, to grab. Okay, knockout asteroid. Yeah, I thought I would get damage from that uh, steam geyser thing. Because last time I did it, I actually got damage, so to be sure power stone that's pretty awesome there's an enemy oh hey it's an albertosaurus long time no see my friend long time no see uh we're gonna kick your ass <laughs> so yeah here you go there's another plant so probably why are there two plants so close to each other maybe one for the albertosaurus okay i get that where's there another plant oh hey it's a dryptosaurus awesome and this looks like Zini can jump over. It's a couple of platforms, and it's another secret for Zini. That's kind of awesome. So there's one Dryptosaurus. Awesome. There's oh my God, there are two Dryptosauruses. Trip, yeah, Sauruses, whatever. Okay, the game's stepping up its difficulty level, I think. And then there's another plant at the end. So yeah, I was right. And then in the end, nothing special. Just have to get her to the blue circle of happiness uh, with all three major characters. Now, here's the thing. I kind of want to leave Flea there for what it is. Just hanging around about here. Now, the reason why is because if you go into power stance mode... Thank you. If you go into power stance mode, then... Um, chances are, if you walk around with Elder near one of those steam pump geyser thingies... You know, Flea might just fly over them without you even, you know, knowing it. Well, you know, you have no control over Flea because she just flies around with you. And then she gets unnecessary damage so that's why so now that I've explained that I, kinda, yeah, I was kind of panicking here but okay oh hey ah whatever okay so more enemies whatever nothing too special anything okay just continue walking just avoid those things do not want to get hit by those things because they do unnecessarily <laughs> a lot of damage. Get some fruits. Not if you know the uh, I guess I could just. Yeah. In case things go wrong, we can always save the obelisk. Okay, let's go up with Sini. Again, this is not really a secret because you have to go here. You have to make the bridge for Aladar. Let's throw a projectile here. Let's throw a projectile there. 250 experience points, but of course you can climb up a bit more if you're feeling adventurous. Again, this is not really considered to be a secret. Uh, but hey, two life crystals, just easy, you know, easy secret, kind of a secret. Just grab them, we're almost at 50. It's ridiculous. So here we go, just go down there. You can be a bit reckless with Cine, but you know, jumping is kind of glitchy. I actually am not looking forward to that one secret with Cine with all the platforms, you know, further up in the level. Now this is the part you have to bit, you have to concentrate a bit. So uh, make sure you're prepared because here's the corner towers. Hurry up, Aladar. Just sprint for your dear life. You don't really have much room for error again. And you have to walk on the green things, because the Carnotaurus is too heavy for those green little platforms. 
So go in there, you'll be safe. Keep sprinting, and hey, look at this one. Well done. From now on, the counter towers cannot, you know, be around you. In close to you or whatever. It says, well done. From now on, on Eldor can push heavier rocks. You know. Music kicks in. And, uh, yeah. What is it? I kind of want to go back, though, with Flea. Because I still want to do a little bit of double-checking scouting thing. Just a little bit. Um, because there are a lot of enemies and a lot of items to grab at those big open spaces. So yeah, I guess the second Connor Towers gets to live a bit more, but he will not be a problem of ours again. So well played. <sighs> I kind of forgot actually um, what the ending would be for the second Connor Towers in this video game. Of course I've played this game a couple of times in my childhood, but you know, just couldn't really remember. Okay. So I I'm supposing you know, yeah, it's all good. Because I, I kind of remember I thought, you know, like, huh. Probably we still have to do something with the Carnet Towers. Of course, there are more levels that we have to do. So this is probably not the end of this Carnet Towers. Maybe. Who knows? Whatever. Okay. Now, maybe we'll get the message again that says, watch out, the ground is very unstable. Or we do not get it, whatever. Of course, with the aid of Flea, we can just easily walk through this. You know, very easy, just go through here, go through there, whatever. There are no items. So, yeah, it's kind of easy. Now, Flea, you should just stay here for now. Just stay here. 49 life crystals. Eh, let's think for a bit. Where to go first? Oh, hey, there's a little uh, Chimpsaurus. What's up? Oh, you did not even see me. Okay. Whatever, just gonna ignore me now? <laughs> okay. Steam geyser thing, do not want to go there. Is there anything here still? New. Let's make sure that I'm not getting attacked while I'm actually flying around with Flea. So, there's nothing in here. Really? Is this really it? Yes, so. Flea, you just stay here. Doop, doop, do. Tread very lightly. Oh, hello. Hello, Velociraptor. Here we go. There used to be the plant there, but uh, Flea took it. So, is there anything else we should worry about? Uh... Ah, yes! You better stars! Oh, I have to sprint. Hello, you better stars. Yeah, you, you wanna? You wanna, can't, you wanna touch this? Ooh, level up. It's still broken. Okay, so, woo, 414 HP for Eldor. That's quite neat. Oh, no, 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 not want to walk through there. <laughs> oh, definitely no. Okay, I suppose that that just takes care of this, I suppose. Um, I think next up is fighting the two Dryptosaurus. Don't need to get in my plan for now, maybe I do later. Flea, no, let's just wait, let's, let's just wait. First, let's do this battle first with the Dryptosauruses. So come on, you're here somewhere. Oh, here you are. Ow, ow, this is not according to plan. Oh no. Ooh, okay, <laughs> okay. During the practice run, this worked, but okay. Definitely gonna take that plan. <laughs> oh, yes. We're definitely gonna take that plan. And there's a, thankfully, there's another plan right there at the end of the level, but uh, okay. Apparently, it seems that fighting Dryptosaurus is while recording is a lot. Ow. Yeah, it's. it's oh, we'll survive this one. 
this. Okay, it's not really my tactic, but if Aladar is a tank, then you should have no problem. <laughs> I'm gonna heal Aladar up soon. Okay. Uh, let's just fly back with Flea. I know, very boring, but you know, I just wanted to be sure. I'm making the levels longer than they actually are. You can pretty much complete them in like three minutes, but hey, I like to double check my shit. Okay, now another very nervous moment for me is to make this first jump with Cine. All the other jumps are pretty much okay, but the first one, okay, we did it. Pretty much the, all the other jumps are pretty easy. They just trigger from almost anywhere. Just have to make sure that he doesn't fall off. Okay. Whoa. Nicely done, Zini, with this parkour thing. But uh, I wanted to check if there was anything here. No. Now you can jump. Yeah. Whatever. Hey, there's an asteroid. There are two asteroids. Awesome. Is there anything here? Yes. Make a bridge. Zini has completed his mission. 250 experience points for that. Nicely done, Zini. Now to actually jump all the way back. I find the way back a bit easier than... But... Yeah, the way back is actually quite easier, but... Oh, that was kind of close, though. Okay. Final jump. Excellent work, Zini. Whew. Yeah. And I think with that, we have actually killed every enemy in this level. We've done every objective in this level, so I guess we're kind of done. So let's grab this plant for uh, Alador. Let's grab this fruit. And I suppose I'm just gonna add a level there, so uh, let's see her. I'm, I'm gonna see her at the status screen. Yeah, here we go. 100%, 100%. Short level, again. 621 experience points for completing this mission. So we've killed some more enemies, we've escaped from the cave, we've escaped through the cliffside, we've survived the, the second chase uh, with the Carnotaurus. It's still not dead though, it might be a threat. So, uh, yeah. I guess that's really all to it, I mean, it's kind of a basic level. So, um, what will happen next? Well, of course, tune in next time. So guys, I want to thank you for watching, of course. Like a favorite if you like the contest, subscribe to our channel, Rick your free from upcoming videos, and I'll see you next time. Peace.